Hey folks, Doxy here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to integrate piston technology into your everyday mob piping system so that you'll be able to use redstone of all things to control where your mobs end up. Now I'm doing this in 125. Yeah, 125. So that means I can't use the fancy spancy uh, what is it called? You call them dispensers? You can put like a bucket in a dispenser and have it work that way. Yeah, no, I, I, I'm old fashioned and I like it this way. Mm, like a man. Um, and for the purpose of this video, I have three examples. It might look like I have six, but really they're just three. And uh, these ones are a little different in another way. Uh, three examples. This one goes to the side. This one goes down. This one goes up. Uh, these ones on the right go straight by default, and these ones on the left make the turn by default. The only difference between this side and this side is the redstone, and I'll show you that individually and separately. The other thing I want to say is that even though I made all this out of glass, it's probably a good idea to use solid blocks for everything that's glass, and like I will be showing you over there, it's a good idea to have the solid blocks of lapis lazuli be a non-solid block of something like glass. So while it's easier to see what's going on this way, it's probably not best because as these pistons come up and go down, you might cleave one of your mobs that you're trying to keep alive and undamaged in the head and make them take a little bit of damage. Uh, so you've been warned. Okay, so now that that's taken care of and out of the way, I'm just gonna show you how to build one of these. These junctures, these transitions, these intersections, whatever you want to call them, all are based off from the same principle that I have over here, in that all these junctures are made at a turn. Now that might sound stupid. Well, of course, if it's going to the side, it's going to be a turn. Um, point that I'm trying to make is that I'm not trying to do it in the middle of a flow. I'm having the flow terminate, and then I'm continuing with another one. Now you'll see that this is exactly the type of setup that I use uh, in the previous video that I showed you. But the fancy smancy thing about this one is that even though there's a water source block that I just took out, I have two more water source blocks, one here and one here, just one for each of the paths and it's going to be the same everywhere else to keep the water flowing even for the option that is turned off. You don't want any non-flowing spaces. You don't want any spaces dry where mobs can just be standing there wondering what it is they're doing at that particular moment. Um, because they'll probably just despawn and not be any use to you regardless of where they end up. So this way, even with this piston down and the water source block that was here a moment ago going that way, that water flow is still doing what it is you want it to do. Just want to be resetting this spec to where it was. Okay, so that's all there is to that. There are three water source blocks. That's all you need to know. Over here, the redstone is really simple. Uh, you flip the switch. What was down goes up, and what was up goes down. Um, and you don't even need the uh, repeater here. This repeater is just so that they both move at the same time tick this one down this one up or this one down and that one up regardless uh over here the redstone is the only thing that's different between this one and that one all the water source blocks and signs and what have you are exactly the same um choo -choo 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 -choo. it's just the redstone goes that way and instead of that way compare compare you're right you're right doxy anyway uh it just moves that way again repeater optional if you don't care about timing. Now this one on the bottom is the next easiest to understand after this one here. Because like that one, there is a water source block right here and right here so that when this piston is extended, which it isn't by default, but when this piston is extended, this water flow keeps doing its own thing. Now the problem you have with vertical transportation and pistons is that you need a piston above the uh, exchange to move out of the way 
And if you have a block moving here, you can't put a sign there. And if you can't put a sign there, the whole way that we use uh, water for vertical transportation can't work. Well, it can if you put a water source block off to the side, right, say here. So as that block moves out of the way, this water flow moves into it and occupies the space. Now, I don't like to use uh, blocks of water that aren't source blocks for vertical transportation, but since it's just the one off from the source block, I can make an exception for this. Now, moving it back, you'll see that that water source block is there and out of the way, serving the same function as this water source block. It's just in the vertical and it has to be offset. Now, the way that the redstone is set up for this one is that you have your torch powering the top one and the repeater going into the bottom one, your switch here and a little bit of redstone right there. This one's a little different. You have your redstone torch powering a wire going into the uh, extended piston, but you still have your repeater going into the one that's not, uh, not, not extended works exactly the same way. Now the one up here is significantly different and at a glance I think you can pick up on that. And the significant difference is that, oh look Doxy put in extra streams here. Why is that? Well I'm going to take them out and show you why I have those there. What the heck? What did I do? I don't even know. Okay, so by default this one flows straight, but we can't have a water source block at the level of my head right here because if it was here uh, even with the floor dropped out from underneath them mobs would keep moving forward and if you were to block this off say with a piston and a block uh, they just kind of be swimming up here if there was a block again at where my head is so we need to have a substitute block much like how we did the bottom example here and the way we do that is by having a block flow in from the side. Oh, but we'd run into the problem of Doxy not wanting to have moving pistons next to where the mobs are. Why does Doxy do that? Well, if pistons are in the wall, ceiling, or floor of the piping itself and mobs have the chance of running into it, there's a problem that the magical property of pistons in that they do whatever it is they want to regarding whether or not they're actually a solid block might cause the mob to glitch out and again with the creeper up with your redstone, not a good idea. So when it comes to pistons and mobs, I try to keep them actually separate. So keeping the pistons out of line of the walls, ceiling, floor of the mob piping I have these pistons here releasing water flows into the central area, substituting where the... Oh, did I break a sign? I broke a sign. Put that sign back. Into where the mob... Uh, well, where the mobs are going. But if it's, if it's just the one, it creates a 45 degree flow for where that headspace is. And as mobs come through here, they will be consistently uh, pushed against this wall and slowed down because half the force of this flow here is actually pushing them into the wall. And that just slows everything down and becomes a nuisance when you have hundreds of mobs going through it. The way to counter that is by having a second flow causing this uh, substitute water flow at the head level to go straight. And of course we want another block here so that they don't just happen to casually swim up and out of the way. Uh, and the whole system works beautifully. The redstone for this is kind of fun. You have your, your switch, wherever it is you want to put it between that torch and that repeater. Uh, the torch again, powering the one that's extended by default. And the repeater powering the one, uh, well, the ones that are not extended by default. It's different over there. Uh, going into this row of three, which powers that one, that one, and that one all at the same time. I love redstone. Uh, this one's a little different in that they will drop by default 
and go straight by uh, the alternative. And this one's really kind of funky because uh, of, well, this torch right here. And it may not seem like it, but this torch here actually pist uh, pistons, actually powers all three of these pistons up top here. And if you're curious about that, the answer that you're looking for is that these, this piston here and this piston here are acting as bud switches because they're set offset to a diagonal. But they're also getting set off by this piston here so that you get a block update when this block changes, causing them to extend effectively the same tick that that one extends. So while it looks kind of crazy, it works. If you don't understand what a block update switch is or a bud switch is, I'll explain it this way. It's magic. Okay. So now that I have all that straightened out and I have explained that you shouldn't use glass, you should use solid blocks, and you shouldn't use uh, solid blocks, you should use glass, and that I don't like putting pistons in the walls, and uh, that this is amazing and you should totally not have to use dispensers even though they're the much simpler and elegant solution, this is how Doxy does pistons in his piping. That probably sounded really weird. Don't think about that. Actually, I'm probably going to edit that out. Unless I'm not. Never mind. Nothing else on my mind as far as things to talk about. Go ahead and click the link in the video to move on to the next video where I'm going to be showing you how I take care of squid because squid are evil. Oh, they're hiding from me. Where are you? Like They're probably clogging up my system. Ah, oh, probably have tons of mobs in my system. I hate squid. Squid are the bane of my existence. Anyway, so go ahead and click the link. Um, and I'm going to sign off because I'm just going to start rambling. Bye-bye. Mm,